good evening, my boo boo and Erica Dabra Cancer. You're looking so sparkly, gorgeous, and delicious tonight. And tonight is the night we're doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, so let's see. I don't know. I'm laughing at my own jokes again. It's an old joke. I don't know. It's not even funny. All right. The moon is out. Your mommy's going. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Please. <clears throat> and losing my voice, of course. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for cancer? Some moon rising and Venus and their person. Okay. So this is your March 24 energy. We assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your baby. I see a lot of pain here, cancer, already. The nine of swords. Someone gave you, gave you a lot of pain. A lot of stuff to worry about. But it's okay, boo-boo. I'm giving you my love. I'm giving you my hugs and my kisses. It's going to be okay. Someone really triggered the demons, demons in your mind. <laughs> triggered inner child insecurities. Someone really triggered you. And it was cruel and unusual punishment almost. That's how it feels. The fool. Yeah, someone left. Boo-boo. Someone abandoned you. It's okay. Like, I feel it. I feel the energy. This is not scrumptious, you know? I'm sorry, we started so whimsically, and now I feel it. The Fool and the Grim Reaper beneath it at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, this person left you. This person left you. They didn't even, you felt like they didn't even look back. You feel like they didn't even check on you. Are you alive? Are you, you know, what's going on with you? Could have left you in a time of need. And really, so many swords, so many swords. It's not even swords in your back. It's like swords they put in your mind. Usually, I don't like this person already, but Bell. Let's see. Let's see if there's any redeeming qualities. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Cancer, Someone rising? And Venus in a person? Flying cards, one sec. Okay, that was aggressive. We've been, you know what? I've been teetering on the edge because I'm just like on the edge of my balcony because the lighting's a little bit better here. And it's the middle, of, well, it's not the middle of the night, but it's the middle of the evening. And the cards keep trying to fly down. <laughs> either onto the street or to my neighbors so let's not disturb the neighbors <laughs> uh but the queen of wands so something's on the edge you know i think this person you know some i think a lot of the reads today are kind of like on the edge people pushing other people to the edge i think you felt pushed to the edge by this person um but you're still holding a torch and they're still holding a torch funnily enough even though they abandoned you, even they behaved like a fool, even though they, they behaved like a coward and walked away in your time of need, they're still holding that torch. Hmm. Also, the goddess of divine justice is taking an interest in them. Let me just say that. This is not about, you know, disclaimer, this is not one of those vengeful channels. Like, I don't believe in that kind of karma or anything like that. But I'm just saying the goddess is speaking to me someone like the goddess has taken an interest in this person <gasps> did you hear that confirmation i know like in cyprus like people honk their horns all the time for no reason but like did you hear that maybe you didn't but like someone's just honking their horn like crazy so that's your com confirmation the trumpets of the angels yep mm -hmm. someone's taking an interest all right so let's see because you gave this person so much and they repaid you with such cruelty you know, the Nine of Swords in the Thoth deck, the Elster Crowley deck, which I don't use because I'm not a fan of Crowley. But um, I love how he calls it, you know, some of the cards. And in the Thoth deck, it's the Lord of Cruelty. You have a low vibrational person on your hands. But that person's not done with you, despite of what they did. They still see you as their future and their family, the Ten of Pentacles. So if it's a new person in your life, a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it is somebody who um, sees a future with you. They're like, you know, we could still get back together. For some reason, they felt entitled or they felt like their life story led them to being cruel to you. The Lord of Cruelty directed them to do something really bad, to abandon you, to, to give you a lot of pain. But they still, for some reason, they have like a toxic relationship to family. They have a toxic relationship to love and they feel like you can still kind of work it out. It's kind of bizarre. Uh, you are their shining North Star. You could be dealing with with someone who's in the darkness, so it could be someone with a like a life of crime uh, that you may not be aware of if it's a new energy or like shady business, someone real shady. Very shady, shade, 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 shade. 
Also, Kate said, before we get into your person's shady business, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Life Tarot. Your mommy loves you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm, I love you so much because I'm, as you know, I'm a Scorpio. You're a Cancer. We're two grabby crustaceans of the Zodiac, and we know how, look, there we are, page of cups, you know. Uh, we know how to love the bill. But other people fall short, and I think that's what happened here. Your person what just wasn't, they're not made of the same cloth as you, baby. Lord of Cruelty. Let me know in the comments below what it was. I'm not a fan of this energy. <sighs> because you can do better. You gave this person that uh, beautiful water cancer love. Love, love, love. The Queen of Cups. She personifies love. She is love herself. And you gave, like, this is high vibration of love as well. So even if it was a new energy in your life, you're like, I'm seeking my soulmate. I give that soulmate kind of love. The mother love, the higher love, the angel love. And this person was like, uh, yes, no, thank you. <laughs> and they just walked away from it, Bill. They walked away from it. Because someone was hiding the fact that they were still dealing with an ex, dealing with other people, the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, it's an ex. Um, you know your story best, but Bill, you got the receipt, so you can let me know in the comments below. You know, take it with a grain of salt, because I'm just a random bimbo on the internet. But I do see a third factor, and I think it is a person. And I think this person sabotaged the situation. They saw the potential in you. They never met someone like you, but they still had either dealings with an ex, or they were dealing with you and another person in their dating situation. And there was like a time... I don't know, like a moment where you discovered that or a moment you gave them an ultimatum. You're like, what's going on? You're, I don't feel like you're 100% present. I feel like you're not really in it. What's going on? And instead of explaining the situation, this person just walked away because it was somehow easier with the other person. It wasn't as high vibrational, so it was easier to manage because it's not a high vibrational kind of person. It's coward energy, and cowards are not uh, high vibrational. Um, if it was an established connection, <clears throat> somebody walked away from this your beautiful gorgeous healing love because they weren't appreciating you uh this person felt you know it, it could have there could have been arguments over money this person could have felt like either they didn't like the fact that you were working and making more money or they felt like they were working and you were say like a stay-at-home parent and you're like well what do you bring to the table you know it's like ridiculous and i do see again take it with a grain of salt never assume cheating because they reigned in bimbo on the internet told any tarot reader these are collective energies but if you have the receipts you know, this is someone who's having an affair at work or there were issues about their workplace issues about money and also a third person um and i feel like that person was like a bad influence we don't you know we don't do like third party hate on this channel but i feel like specifically in this uh, specific situation someone was a bad influence they were like what is your partner they were like tra the other person was trash talking you because they wanted that person for themselves and they enabled that person to walk afraid walk away from you like a coward they left you with nothing or tried to leave you with nothing try to accuse you of the things they were guilty of basically but you know now they're regretting it now they still see was their family uh their home but bill um, and I think they've understood in this rift or separation that you were the one who was pure. You were the one who was the North Star. You were the indicator of morality and scrumptiousness. You have the Six of Swords and their intentions as someone who is currently still fully intending to walk away. Something could have gone down in October or 10 hours, 10 days, 10 weeks ago for some of you. Uh, for some of you, it's something fresh, Gemini season. The Queen of Swords, Gemini energy. They're going to keep cutting you off, but, but I'm so sorry. But wait, there's more, okay? Wait, wait for it, because there's a big shocker coming around. Um, they're still cutting you off. They're still under the influence of the other person. And then the higher font, long-term energy. By the end of Taurus season, or in five hours, five days, five weeks, five months, you're gonna hear from this person and they're gonna to wanna to come home because what they got from this other person, this other situation, what they got from walking away and leaving you in a bad situation with all those demons was not what they wanted. It, it doesn't compare, baby, because you are love herself, the queen of cups, himself, anyone in between. You know what I'm gonna say. You know what your mommy's gonna say. Delete from database, all right? Too little, too late. Let's get some advice for you though because I don't wanna influence, you know, it's your choice. It's all about free will on this channel. Yeah, strength. You know, came this, was this person strong for you? Were they fighting with you or for you, Bill? They want to come, you know, they're going to want to come back, but it, it's too little too late. 
if you want to fight for it, I feel you could still have them, the world. Uh, the King of Wands, you could still have them. They're, if you're manifesting this person back into your life, you could still have them. But I feel like they're unworthy. Let's see who else is coming in. I'm just saying, as a Scorpio, I have to leak from database. Refactor, refactor, refactor. Uh, so in the story, someone, you're not expecting someone to appear in your life. If someone is already in your life, who you're not expecting to be mm, interested in you. The chariot, someone is coming. You know, like, like a thief in the night. Very swiftly and quickly, you're not expecting it. New love is coming, but Bill, don't sell yourself short. Um, so it's very unexpected. It's not your usual type, but it could be someone real good for you. So don't miss it in the next seven hours, seven days, seven weeks. Uh, let me know in the comments below. This is your story, Cancer. If you vibe with my channel, you know what to do for personal readings. All the info is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby, my boo-boo. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you, baby. <sighs> and F this douche flute. You can do so much better.